Pixar has made significant progress since its groundbreaking first movie, Toy Story, and is often considered one of the top animation studios despite occasionally producing films that some may view as missteps or failures. Following the release of Lightyear in 2022, which received mixed reactions, Pixar's latest movie, Elemental, marks a return to the studio's high standards. Now available for streaming on Disney+, Plus, Elemental explores a world where anthropomorphic natural elements coexist despite facing certain biases. The plot centers around Ember Lumen, voiced by Leah Lewis, a fire element who teams up with Wade Ripple, voiced by Mamadou Atihi, a water element, in an effort to save her father's convenience store. Along the way, they develop a relationship that Ember's father believes is impossible. With a runtime of 101 minutes, Ember is faced with the choice of continuing her father's legacy or pursuing a new life and newfound interests with Wade. But before we get into the review, if you enjoy this type of content, hit the like button and consider subscribing to help out the channel. Also, hitting the notification bell will alert you when we drop new content. Now, let's get critical. Bernie and Cinder Lumen, Fire Elements, move to Element City, where they face discrimination but establish a life for themselves and their daughter Ember by opening a convenience store named The Fireplace. As Ember grows, she is expected to take over the store if she can manage her temper. One day, while managing the store alone, Ember's frustration causes a water pipe to burst, drawing the attention of Wade Ripple, a water element and city inspector. Despite Ember's efforts, Wade files a report about the faulty plumbing, risking the store's closure. To save the fireplace, Wade and Ember propose to track down the source of a leak in the city's plumbing that Wade has been investigating. Their adventure leads to a closer bond between them and they manage to temporarily fix the leak. Their relationship blossoms and Ember impresses Wade's family, earning a glassmaking internship recommendation. However, when faced with taking over the store, Ember realizes it's not her desire. Tensions rise as Ember's relationship with Wade challenges her family's prejudices against water elements. Despite their growing love, Ember ends their relationship, feeling torn between her duties and her heart. Yet, when a crisis strikes and the store is threatened by a flood, Ember and Wade's bond proves unbreakable, leading to a heartfelt reunion and a realization of their love for each other. Ultimately, Bernie retires, passing the store to friends, while Ember and Wade leave Element City to pursue Ember's glassmaking internship, embracing a future together free from the confines of their elemental prejudices. Firstly, the animation and art design in this film are extremely well done, deserving a round of applause for the animation and cinematography teams. The movie is cleverly filled with Easter eggs related to the periodic table of elements, a creative choice Peter Song, the director, was passionate about incorporating. The attention to detail is outstanding, such as the depiction of the sun touching the water at the horizon, symbolizing the deepening relationship between Wade and Ember, or how Ember's flame diminishes when she feels less confident or grows when enthusiastic. The narrative skillfully showcases Wade adapting to fire through both subtle and significant actions, while Ember learns to understand and control her flame and emotions, becoming more like water, adaptable, transparent, and unafraid to express her feelings. The film explores themes of responsibility, anxiety, identity, and belonging, reflecting director Peter Son's own experiences as the son of Korean immigrants who established a successful grocery store in the Bronx in the 1970s. The story resonates as a tale of an immigrant family's hopes and struggles and their interactions with other marginalized communities that support each other. A highlight of the story is when Ember's mother, who usually conducts love readings for fire clients, doubts the compatibility of fire and water. In a creative twist, Ember uses Wade's presence to amplify her light, igniting the incense and proving their love, illustrating that true love enables partners to enhance each other's strengths, creating something new and seemingly impossible. The film emphasizes the tension between water and fire and what could happen should they commingle. When the characters finally touch, it serves as a beautiful reminder of the harmony between fire and water in everyday life, like enjoying a hot bath or boiling a water for a meal. Some critics argue that this movie treads a familiar path, echoing recent Disney Pixar themes centered around culture with specific tropes and has its share of imperfections. Notably, Wade's character, despite being emotionally mature, is somewhat limited in development compared to Ember. The narrative primarily focuses on Ember's quest to honor her heritage while forging her own identity, occasionally reducing Wade to a mere facilitator for Ember's needs, thus propelling the plot. Ember's growth seems largely dependent on Wade, directly or indirectly, which, while not diminishing her storyline, suggests that a more nuanced portrayal of Wade could have enriched the narrative further. It's conceivable that director Son intended this, considering Wade's water element might naturally avoid resistance or conflict. However, considering the nature of elements, fire, with only oxygen to feed it, can become all-consuming, whereas water remains passive until acted upon. I believe this dynamic is reflected in how Wade, naturally passive, stands up for his love for Ember 
and Ember, naturally active, becomes passive in her life until she decides to live for herself. This portrayal underlines a tale of self-discovery through love and empathy. I do find myself longing for deeper development in Wade's character beyond his emotional range, maybe an exploration of past trauma or family issues he needed to address. Unfortunately, that aspect of his story was left unexplored. While not topping my list of Pixar favorites, it's certainly not at the bottom. That said, I rate Pixar's Elemental 3 out of 5 stars. Fire!